Hey, MLT heroes, are you ready to dive into some histopathology tricky MCQs and level up your histology game? Whether you're a student or just curious about the world of tissue samples, this is your chance to test your knowledge. Before we begin, don't forget to smash that like button. Let's keep this learning party going. 1. Microtomes are used for Options A. Staining tissues B. Sectioning tissues C. Dehydrating tissues D. Fixing tissues Correct answer B. Sectioning tissues Explanation Microtomes are like precision slicers, cutting tissue sections as thin as paper for microscopic examination. Staining adds the color, dehydration preps the tissue, and fixing preserves it. But sectioning is where the magic of detailed analysis begins. 2. What is the purpose of xylene in tissue processing? Options A. Dehydration B. Clearing C. Fixation D. Embedding Correct answer B. Clearing Explanation Xylene is the cleaner upper in tissue processing. It replaces alcohol, making tissues transparent for paraffin embedding. Dehydration That's alcohol's job. Fixation Leave it to formalin. Embedding comes after xylene clears the path. It's like the backstage crew before the tissue's big debut. If you're enjoying this MCQ or found it helpful, please drop an appreciation comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and it keeps me motivated to create more fun and informative content for all of you. 3. Which stain is used to identify collagen in tissues? Options A. Periodic Acid Shift PS B. Van Giesen C. Masson's Trichrome D. Sudan Black Correct Answer C. Masson's Trichrome Explanation Masson's Trichrome is the artist for collagen, coloring it blue or green. Pass loves carbohydrates, Van Giesen highlights elastic fibers, and Sudan Black is all about fats. When it comes to collagen, Masson's Trichrome is the specialist. 4. What is frozen sectioning used for? Options A. Rapid fixation B. Immediate diagnosis during surgery C. Long-term tissue storage D. Routine histological studies Correct answer B. Immediate diagnosis during surgery Explanation Frozen sectioning is the speedster of histopathology, providing quick answers during surgeries. Long-term storage and routine studies use paraffin processed tissues and fixation prepares them. But frozen sections are all about saving time and guiding surgeons. Think of it as the fast food of histopathology. 5. Which of the following is a special stain for carbohydrates? Options A. Pass stain B. Hematoxylin C. Giemsa D. Oil red O. Correct answer. A. Pass stain Explanation Pass stain loves carbohydrates, turning them magenta with its unique chemistry. Hematoxylin is the nucleus champion, Giemsa handles blood smears, and oil red O is the go-to for fats. Pass is the carbohydrate king. 6. What is the ideal thickness for tissue sections in histopathology? Options A. 2, 3 micron B. 5, 7 micron C. 10, 12 micron D. 15, 20 micron Correct. Answer B. 5 to 7 micron Explanation Tissue sections are sliced at 5 to 7 micron for optimal clarity under the microscope. Thinner sections may tear and thicker sections can obscure details. This precise range ensures accurate diagnosis. It's like the perfect slice of cake, just the right thickness. 7. Which of the following is a fixative for electron microscopy? Options A. Formalin B. Glutaraldehyde C. Ethanol D. Buin solution. Correct answer. B. Glutaraldehyde. Explanation. Glutaraldehyde is the electron microscopy expert preserving ultrastructures with its strong cross-linking properties. Formalin is great for light microscopy, ethanol dehydrates tissues, and Buin's is for routine histology. For high detail work, glutaraldehyde takes the spotlight. No blurry details here. 8. Which type of microscopy is used for observing unstained tissues? Options A. Bright field microscopy B. Phase contrast microscopy C. Fluorescence microscopy D. Electron microscopy Correct. Answer B. Phase contrast microscopy Explanation Phase contrast microscopy reveals the beauty of unstained tissues by enhancing contrast. Bright field needs stains. 
fluorescence lights up specific molecules, and electron microscopy dives into ultrastructures. For natural views, phase contrast is the way to go. It's like seeing your tissue in its natural state. No makeup needed. 9. What is the purpose of decalcification in histopathology? Options A. Removing fats from tissues B. Softening bone for sectioning C. Preserving tissue proteins D. Staining tissues Correct. Answer B. Softening bone for sectioning Explanation Decalcification removes calcium salts, making bones soft enough to section. It's not about fats, that's clearing, protein preservation, that's fixation, or staining. It's all about preparing bones for the blade. 10. Which chemical is commonly used for decalcification? Options A. Formic acid B. Xylene C. Ethanol D. Hematoxylin Correct. Answer A. Formic acid Explanation Formic acid is the decalcification pro, gently dissolving calcium while preserving tissue details. Xylene clears, ethanol dehydrates, and hematoxylin stains. But when it comes to bones, formic acid rules. 11. Which of the following stains is most commonly used for identifying collagen fibers in tissue sections? Options A. Hematoxylin and eosin, H &E. B. Masson's trichrome C. Periodic acid shift, PAS, D. Giem sustain. Correct. Answer B. Masson's trichrome. Explanation Masson's trichrome stain is specifically used to identify collagen fibers in tissue sections, giving them a blue or green color. H&E is a general stain for tissue morphology. PASS highlights carbohydrates, and GEMSA is primarily used for blood and bone marrow samples. For collagen, Masson's is the go-to stain. 12. In immunohistochemistry, what is the role of the secondary antibody? Options A. To bind to the target antigen B. To amplify the signal from the primary antibody. C. To block nonspecific binding sites. D. To directly bind to the enzyme for color development. Correct answer. B. To amplify the signal from the primary antibody. Explanation. The secondary antibody is like the hype man for the primary antibody. It binds to the primary antibody and carries an enzyme or fluorochrome amplifying the signal. It doesn't bind to the antigen directly, just makes the whole show shine brighter. 13. Which fixative is commonly used for preserving ultrastructure in electron microscopy? Options A. Formalin B. Glutaraldehyde C. Ethanol D. Buin solution Correct answer B. Glutaraldehyde Explanation Glutaraldehyde is the fixative of choice for electron microscopy as it preserves cell and tissue ultrastructure by cross-linking proteins and fixing cellular components in their native state. Formalin and bovines are used for light microscopy, while ethanol is mainly used for dehydration. It's like preserving a delicate work of art. 14. The process of embedding tissue in paraffin wax is primarily aimed at Options A. Staining the tissue B. Dehydrating the tissue C. Preventing bacterial growth D. Hardening the tissue for sectioning Correct Answer D. Hardening the tissue for sectioning Explanation Embedding tissue in paraffin wax is crucial for hardening the tissue, allowing for very thin sections to be cut for microscopic examination. This step follows dehydration and clearing, ensuring the tissue is stable for slicing. 15. What is the primary purpose of using a counter stain in histology? Options A. To differentiate between specific cell types B. To enhance the color contrast of tissues C. To remove excess stains D. To fix the tissue structure Correct Answer B. To enhance the color contrast of tissues Explanation Counter staining is used in histology to enhance the contrast of tissue sections making specific elements like cell nuclei or cytoplasm more visible. It doesn't fix the tissue but works in combination with the primary stain to differentiate various tissue components. It's like the shadow that makes your photo pop. 16. Which of the following is the most common fixative used in routine histopathology? Options A. Carnoy solution B. Formalin C. Zenker solution D. Buin solution Correct answer B. Formalin Explanation 
Formalin is the most widely used fixative in routine histopathology. It preserves tissue structure by cross-linking proteins and is effective in preventing tissue decay. Other fixatives like carnoids and bowines are used for specific purposes, but formalin is the standard for most samples. 17. Which technique is commonly used to identify amyloid deposits in tissue? Options A. Alcyon blue stain B. Congo red stain C. Periodic acid shift PAS stain D. Methyl green pyranin stain Correct. Answer B. Congo red stain Explanation Congo red stain is specifically used to identify amyloid deposits in tissue. The amyloid fibers bind to the dye and under polarized light, they exhibit an apple green birefringence, which is a hallmark of amyloidosis. 18. Which component of the microscope is used to focus light on the specimen? Options A. Objective lens B. Condenser lens C. Eyepiece D. Illuminator Correct. Answer B. Condenser lens Explanation The condenser lens focuses light onto the specimen to ensure that the image seen through the microscope is well illuminated and clear. The objective lens magnifies the image, the eyepiece is where you view the image, and the illuminator provides the light. It's like the spotlight on the stage. 19. Which of the following is used for preparing tissue sections for electron microscopy? Options A. Paraffin embedding B. Resin embedding C. Frozen embedding D. Alcohol embedding Correct. Answer B. Resin embedding Explanation Resin embedding is used for electron microscopy to preserve tissue at the ultrastructural level, ensuring that cellular details remain intact. Paraffin embedding is used for light microscopy and frozen embedding is typically for rapid diagnosis or enzyme histochemistry. Resin is the heavy hitter in electron microscopy. 20. Which of the following is a characteristic of past staining? Options A. Stains carbohydrates and mucopolysaccharides B. Stains nucleic acids C. Stains lipids D. Stains collagen Correct answer A. Stains carbohydrates and mucopolysaccharides Explanation Pass staining highlights carbohydrates and mucopolysaccharides in tissues, giving them a bright magenta color. It's particularly useful for identifying structures like glycogen, mucins, and basement membranes. Did you enjoy this session? If yes, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Share this with your friends who need a little help. See you in the next session.